This is how we shower aboard Joko. <laughs> wow. Doing the laundry. Another little boat job. The captain is upside down. Love the smell of pee pee blaster in the morning, don't you, honey? Let's uh, just defrost the fridge. For fun and for posterity, I'm going to pull out my tape measure and I'm going to try and get a read on how thick this is because I'm very curious. Nice. <laughs> Never been to a baseball game with a topics before. Mm. They caught a grouper. Nice work. Live your life because no one else is going to live it for you. Oh, yeah. Well, Georgetown, we think we're done with you. We've been here for three weeks, hey, honey? Yeah. It's been a good time. Didn't think we would stay this long, but uh, the regatta sucked us in. It's been nice to sit still and have some chill out time here. But tomorrow is onward and upwards. Literally, we are headed back up north going through the Exumas. We have still about five weeks or so, something like that, before we have to get out of the Bahamas. So lots more to come. We're excited for that. Another little boat job to be done. <laughs> The captain is upside down. He's fixing one of the wood pieces on our swim ladder here. So that people don't come in up, like rotate it and kill themselves. Yeah, and it just needs to be tightened against the uh, stainless steel bar here because it keeps on moving when people step on it and then we almost like go into the water. I oh, <laughs> also want to show that Jeff matches the color of the water right now, which is pretty sweet. Another beautiful day in Georgetown. We were going to be leaving Georgetown this morning, heading up to Rat Key in the, the Exumas. Um, the weather window looked pretty okay the last few days, but then this morning the wind was a lot higher than it was supposed to be. The wave height was going to be about like seven feet or something. Really don't want to get our butts kicked in the morning just to move to another anchorage. So I think we're going to be hanging out here for another couple of days. So today is Friday. Monday looks like the next um, best day that we could attempt to go again. So we'll just keep our eye on the weather. And until then, just hanging out in Georgetown. Oh geez. Well, Jeff uh, dropped something in the water. So of course has to go for a morning swim. And when he did, I was like, get back on board quick. There's a freaking large barracuda. But now I'm gonna be on the major lookout for him if he comes back. <laughs> Mission successful. The captain does it again. Wow. We haven't done the bottom rung. Oh, well, he's done one rung. One more rung to go. <laughs> I just love the smell of pee, of pee pee blaster in the morning, don't you, honey? Yeah, it's the, it's the scent of progress. The scent of progress. <laughs> That's a good one. Wow. Nicely done. The most random things Jeff is requesting to do this job. He just asked me to grab go, to go grab him a lighter now. <laughs> All right, if the captain asks, the captain shall receive. Here you go, honey. Bam. What? No more moving swim ladder. He, by golly, he did it! Just the captain to, strikes again! Had to cut off the old bolt nut because it was not, PB blasting was not getting there, heat wasn't getting there. <clears throat> so, Dremel for the win. Yeah, and how many uh, Dremel things did you go through? A couple, a couple of blades, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know what blade it was. Like, it doesn't tell me that the type of material, it just says cutting number, this and that. I'm not going to look it up, so I just burned through a couple of blades because it's like 10 cents or something. Um, then I had to go find a screw. I found the exact matching screw with, with matching lock wash or lock nut rather already on it. Wow. Jeez. Cranked them all down, walked up and down the ladder, no movement. Sweet. It was new. One project done. Yep. While well, we sit around and wait to leave. Now <laughs> I get to clean everything up. Yay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Doing the laundry. Yep. Figure we're not leaving today. Do a couple chores. So much fun. I love doing bucket laundry, babe. Looks so much, almost as much fun as working on a ladder upside down. Yeah. We're both getting workouts today. You had an app I think workout. I'll probably work on the dinghy too, so. Yeah. 
I might need you to help me flip it over. Let's see how it goes. Before we continue, huge shout out to our amazing patrons. We are so thankful for each one of you. If you're enjoying our content and would like to join the Joko crew, we'll have a link in the description box below. Thank you. All right, baby. All you right. going in? Going in. This is how we shower aboard Joko. We could shower inside, but then it gets moisture in the boat. So instead we just jump in the ocean, get wet, get salty, and then scrub it up. Do a fresh water rinse at the end. I'm having a spotter today. Yeah, uh, that's me. To make sure that I'm on no Barracuda watch. Barracuda because the Barracuda came around earlier today and almost like bit Jeff. So I like the almost bit edition. Yeah, right. It did actually. It came very close. It was big. There's little fishies under the boat everywhere too. Eat one. What? <laughs> You're weird. Okay. All good. All good. Wow. Oh, nice commitment. Refreshing. Nice commitment. Oh, man. Okay, now okay. head and shoulders. Uh huh. Because we've heard that this works the best in salt water. And yeah, we're on display for everyone who wants to watch the show. I love the ladder holding technique. That's my favorite. Look at that. The swings are so. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay. Wow. Just a workout. Rock. A workout. Oh my, workout. only you. <laughs> the only other time she works out is when she goes shoe shopping, apparently. <laughs> All right. Best shower bath ever. Okay. The next morning, we got together with our friends Josh and Tamara from Sailing Hanu Time to check out a bay known for having tons of turtles. Turtle Watch 2023. About to commence. Work for it, boy. <laughs> you gotta work for it, boy. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you I'm see? Sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah, you're not doing it right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, come back. <laughs> All the other tourists just drop it and scream. <laughs> okay. He's coming. Oh, he's going after the cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, hey little guy, you want it? <gasps> Woo! <laughs> that was a bit too close. Oh. This little guy clearly loved the camera and kept on giving me great angles for shots. On a side note though, we later learned we shouldn't have been feeding the turtles, even if it was just lettuce. So please don't repeat what we did. <laughs> We're on another adventure. We heard that there's a baseball game happening today. And it's uh... We also <laughs> heard that there's a big truck right around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I think we found it, babe. Okay, <laughs> okay babe. <laughs> okay, babe. <laughs> the uh, baseball game is between cruisers and some local people. So we decided We'll we just want to like, watch them kick our ass. Yeah, apparently they have a lot of refreshments and some snacks and foods and stuff for sale. So we'll check it out. Never been to a baseball game with the topics before. Softball. Yeah, I know. Yeah, softball. Me either. I think we found it. We're hearing singing. Oh. Oh. He's swinging for the fences. Yeah, he was. Totally. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, two strikes. This guy's ready to rock. Yeah, he yeah. wants to run. He wants to go. Big time. Oh, oh, you can go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's going, he's going. Wow, what a fast guy. Holy. Nice. Good job. Shit. Oh, no way. Look at the smile on his face. Wow. Was that a home run? Yeah. Wow. Nicely done. That's nice. High fives all around. Oh, oh, piece of it. Go, 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 go. Oh, Run. Oh, oh, oh snap. Good that hit. was a good play. Good hit. Oh, man. <laughs> Later that night, there was once again a party at a nearby restaurant featuring the local Rake and Scrape band. Rake and Scrape is a type of traditional Bahamian folk music characterized by the reliance on improvised instruments such as a ripsaw by the sky. And now the power just went out. <laughs> The next thing we knew, the local Junkanoo band that we had seen previously showed up to perform as well. Get enough of their sound, outfits, heart and soul. Did you know that they hand make all their costumes themselves? Good morning! Today we're going to do some errands in town. We have all of our airy cans for water and gas here and we're gonna go over to the dinghy dock and fill everything up this morning. We are getting ready to leave Georgetown within the next few days so we're doing a lot of stocking up of things. Just get everything ready to rock for the next month going up the Exumas where there's not gonna be a lot of services around. There is some water fill up over here. It is RO water provided by the Exuma Market, one of the two grocery stores here in town for free. So that's pretty awesome. Sometimes it's really hard to find a parking spot here, but this morning we are here early, it's just after 9 a.m. And we have landed. Make sure that you use a long painter so that if uh, it's congested, other people can just move your dinghy over and still find a place to tie up. Hence the reason for six feet. Now that the water is done, next up we're gonna go to the Royal Bank, take out some cash, and also go and scope out this the other grocery store that's here in Georgetown called the ShopRite. We haven't been there yet, but we've heard that it is pretty good, really good selection, better prices than the Exuma Market. So we will go find out if that's true. Vegetables. Uh, so we just grabbed a couple things, red onion, some lime juice, a couple avocados, carrots, that kind of thing. We're not doing a big shop right now because we are walking, doing other things, and we didn't want to get stuff that was needing to be kept cold, obviously, because it's mega hot. So now we're just going to keep on walking around Lake Victoria here, go to the Alive store, which is the internet provider that we got for our hotspot. Um, we have to top up our plan for the next month. Nothing is too far here. We've only walked for maybe about six minutes, seven minutes from the grocery store, and the Alive store is right in front of us right now. Pretty convenient. And just coming back through town, this is the main drag here. Here is a Regatta Point Park. Gonna go check out this top to bottom. Everything for every time, Georgetown. <laughs> Lots of cool things in this store. Fishing things. You need some crops, some floaties, line, wetsuits even, wow. Dry bag, maybe. 
Ooh, a one random Bahamas flag. <laughs> Colander, toasters, they got everything. Cool, glad we came in. We are now back on the ding, headed over to the men's water sports to get some gas. All right, we got gas. <laughs> it's pretty simple. This uh, tube here behind me is the gas hose. <laughs> and you go up there into the building and just tell them how much gas that it was. We got 5.8 liters, cost us about 36 bucks. And it's now we are, driving. yeah, we're fueled up. It's only like, what, an hour and a half? We did a lot of things this morning yeah, so far. Right. That's what happens when you get up and go and get stuff done. Live your life, because no one else is gonna live it for you. Oh, wow, Jeffy. I just heard that one recently. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeff is about to go for a little spearfish with a boat nearby here. And we decided let's uh, just defrost the fridge. So I took out all of our food. It's all in there. And uh, yeah, Jeff is gonna show you how much ice is in there right now. So we just learned the other day that when you let it build up too much, it actually kills your efficiency. And then if we fix this, get it all cleaned up, we can actually turn that dial back down a little bit. So that is good. Um, just for, for fun and for posterity, I'm gonna pull out my tape measure and I'm gonna try and get a read on how thick this is because I'm very curious. Why not? So the plate is back here. So I'm just looking from like the far side over here. You, I don't think we're about to see it on camera, but I would say at the thickest part off of the plate, it is an inch and a half thick. Maybe down here it's hitting two inches off the plate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think the manual said something about millimeters. <laughs> uh, like eight or five or something. Anyway, so here we go. We've got a fan moving a bit of air into this area and putting water on this every once in a while because I think that will accelerate it. And uh, yeah, beyond that, it's just waiting. We know from hearing other stories that we don't want to chip away at this because you can damage that refrigeration plate in the back there. So there it is. Once this is all melted away and down that hole into our bilge, we'll give this thing another wipe down cleaning inside and we'll load her back up. Here's a short little update for you. It's been about two hours and that the fridge has been open and turned off. We still have some ice here at the back but the rest of it has, oh, and I put a cabbage in there. <laughs> but the rest of it has come off of the sides. But look at that. That's pretty intense. Holy, we should have done this a long time ago, but you know, things happen. Cruising gets in the way and having fun gets in the way of doing boat projects every once in a while, so. So yeah, Jeff is off spearfishing this morning. Of course, it's the most gustiest, windy morning and I'm on the boat by myself getting sketched out because the wind has done a complete um, 180 from where we were yesterday. And um, I'm just worried that dragging, obviously, because I'm by myself here on the boat. It should be okay, but it's still sketchy when you go outside and take a look and you're like, that boat wasn't there a minute ago, but you just have to remember it's because we're swinging, they're swinging, we have different scopes out. I was doing some editing of a video down below, but I think I'm just gonna end up staying up here and monitoring everything. <laughs> we were doing some dinghy repair to our patch farm up at the bow of the dinghy. Catching the air quite a bit, so I had to run up and just grab a couple little pieces of rope there and on that side and then just tie them down to the handrails here, the grab rails, to make sure that our dinghy doesn't freaking fly off the boat and then I'm by myself with that too. <laughs> uh, good thing I put those lines on because <laughs> she's a rockin'. <laughs> good grief. Yeah, can they caught a grouper. Nice work. Yeah, now he's gonna be filleted. We're gonna have that for dinner. Fun, fun. Ooh, Jeff is back enjoying some cold water. Perhaps the water came from our freshly defrosted fridge. Oh, wow. Look how much extra space we have in here. Like I can actually put up, put the chicken and our steak up against the plate to keep it cold. Oh, Whoa. Geez. And everything fits in here normally. Holy snap. What a friggin' luxury. It's the luxurious life in Wada Wada. It's the most luxurious luxury in the world. Most luxurious luxury in the world. Well, you you certainly look like you're living that type of life right now. Wow, look at you go. 
in our dancing chandelier. All right. Leaving Georgetown. Leaving the old Georgie. Yeah. We've been here for what? Three weeks. Three weeks. It feels like we're like natural born place. citizens. It's been a good run. Going to the uh, rest of the Azumas. It's going to be good. Okay.